First thing first, I want to thank you for teaching me and learning with me. The friendly and supportive atmosphere created by the moderators and participants added to the success of technology for spoken English session. I do not in the least regret choosing it. As for the apps and tools of the session, I have chosen five I am going to implement in my teaching context, and that is pre-service AFL teachers uh, with mixed abilities. To begin with, I was really attracted by English speaking practice. Well, it's easy to install and use. Different dialects to listen to, quiz, practice, and record will help to develop my students' pronunciation and enrich their vocabulary resource. It could be done as a speaking drill individual at home according to the topic of the face-to-face -face lessons. Then in the lesson, I might offer some more communicative speaking practice based on the drilled material. The opportunity to have a word with native speakers sounds really tempting, and that's why I can recommend my university students to explore HelloTalk and LinkedIn. Joining the worldwide community of English speakers is sure to enhance their spoken interaction skills and socializing with strangers is beneficial for the development of their social skills. Besides, they are mature enough to deal with some unexpected situations. Such home speaking practice might be followed by making reports on some cultural findings in face-to-face -face lessons. To speak about tools, I will definitely start with Flipgrid. So Flipgrid is a video response platform where educators from different countries can collaborate and this tool creates opportunities for my students to practice their speaking skills, collaborating with their group mates staying at home. They have already got a task to make a short video in order to present one chunk in the context of the book we are reading now. And I'm really looking forward to the outcome. The next tool is Voki. So Voki is a fun tool that students can use for developing their short presentation stories or reviews at home. They are sure to develop their spoken production skills. They can choose a character to disguise themselves and share it with others. My students have already shared their short reviews on the Moodle forum and replied to their peers' work. It's time to speak about read aloud. So it makes you develop your pronunciation by listening, practicing, shadowing, and reading aloud the text. To read aloud is very engaging. Immediate feedback encourages you to read better and better and better. If there were such an activity in my Moodle course, my students would practice reading their Moodle text and it would be their home assignment. So in short, um, I've already started to use something new in my lessons and that's really an inquired taste.